Hello, 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 and welcome into the stream. I'm going to get going here in just a second here. I'm making sure that everything is up and loaded. And let's go ahead and say hello. Oh, let's see, which way is the light showing in here? So the light's like right down there. Bring that. Perfect. You see that magic right there? Okay. Cool. We fixed. Uh oh, now it's over there. Now we have to do the magic like right here. Uh, right there. Perfect. Okay. We fixed it. There's no more light sources behind us. Welcome into the stream, Stormy. Hey, what is up, everyone? Welcome into the stream. I do hope everyone has been having a great. Uh, no, I was gonna say Christmas, but a great December. Hope everyone has been having a great December. Muki's like, man, I have exams. Everyone's getting tested right now. So what we're doing in today's stream is we're gonna be playing our new Christmas mod pack. This is one that I downloaded. It took a while to download, but we have it up and running. <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa. See that guy right there? I like this one. Hey, Stormy with the Redeem. Like, I do appreciate that, Stormy. Big shout out to Stormy in the chat. Definitely go down below, guys, and hit the thumbs up. If you guys have not hit the thumbs up, I'm going to go ahead, hop on my phone, and also hit the thumbs up. So we should get a whole bunch of thumbs ups, maybe. A thumbs up, a thumbs up, and two thumbs up, three thumbs up, four thumbs up. And now we have four thumbs up. Maybe. Nope, it's okay. <laughs> but how is everybody doing? Happy, happy December, guys. Happy December. Your stream is lacky, Unchi, on my side. Just turn over to the other side. So if you're if you're if you're really laggy when you're laying down on your left side, just turn over on your right side, and then hopefully the lag will go away. <laughs> For me, it's fine. It keeps loading. Oh, that's weird. I don't know. I don't know. I feel like my camera is pointed a bit too far down. Maybe that's better. You guys think that this, without the background, like if I just do this, where's my border? Get rid of the border. Is this cool, like when I'm floating mid air like this? Or is it better when I throw this up and throw, where's all my, I don't know where all my backgrounds went. I moved all this bunch of stuff from my computer and now I don't know where all my backgrounds went. Yeah, I don't know where they went. I got like a movie here. I don't want to run movies in my background. Huh. Well, I don't know uh, where all my things are. It's better with the background, I think. Yeah, I don't know where my backgrounds went. I used to have all my tunnels. Hold on, I have to find my backgrounds now. Tunnel. So now, yeah, I like having something behind me. I think it kind of makes it kind of cool looking. But I don't know where all my tunnels went. I don't think I deleted them. I just don't know where they went. Images. No, stream images. No, that's not it. Got my music, got my videos. Huh. I have no idea where all my backgrounds went. I think I may have deleted them. Halloween. Oh, wait. Hmm. Yeah, I think I deleted all my backgrounds because I don't see them anywhere. I think I have this one, but... That, that doesn't move. That's like a static image. So yeah, okay, I, I will have to figure this out. 
I clean up a whole bunch of stuff on my computer. Um, rip backgrounds, you will be missed. I have to download more backgrounds. I will have to download more backgrounds because I just had a whole bunch of Christmassy ones. But anyways, guys, we're going to be playing a new Christmas mod pack. I don't want to take up too much time. So let's go into the single player. Now, the question of the day is hardcore or not hardcore. We have two votes to now play hardcore. Like, do you play hardcore? I actually want to enjoy my world. So I want to see how far I can progress in this Christmas mod pack theme will still count how many times that I die. But uh, while this thing's validating, we can see here that this pack adds over 100 creatures. 50 of them are related to Christmas. And there's over 200 Christmas decorations and 100 new boot biomes that are all snowy. So we're gonna name this called the Christmas, Christmas Ad Adventure. 22. So it's the Christmas Adventure 22. We're still gonna make it like a hard difficulty. Make it survival. And go ahead and create the world. And we'll actually do some more options. We're gonna do seed generator for we're gonna do a stormy. A stormy me Yuki. There we go. Our seed that we're using for this is going to be called Stormy Miyuki. And we're gonna go ahead and select world and yes. So Stormy was the first one in the chat tonight saying hiya and Miyuki was second with the exams. <laughs> so we're gonna be a Stormy Miyuki as our seed today. So we're gonna go ahead and see what this world looks like. So that's cool though. I mean, going through exams and getting that all knocked out of the way now it might be a little bit stressful, but once you get past the exams, I became a stormy cloud, apparently. A storm cloud. A stormy Miyuki, yeah? It's like uh, your your actual name became a dungeon. Scarlet, it was a Scarlet Crusade dungeon. So if you guys are joining me here on Twitch or on YouTubes, I don't see anybody out there. I know we have two of you guys on Twitch, a couple of you guys on YouTube. What we're loading right now is called the Christmas Mod Pack. Uh, this is a new mod pack for Minecraft 1.19.2. It adds um, 100 new biomes. They're all snowy. It's all snowy. All of it is snowy. It adds 100 creatures. We're going to try and collect as many creatures as we can. Um, we'll, we'll, we'll see how this goes. <laughs> we'll see how much I die. You can kind of see here in the pictures what the world is going to look like looks like i can see some crows right here um a couple other things okay here's our here's our game so we're going to go ahead and get going and i have never played on this mod pack mod before so i'm going to go ahead and adjust some of the video settings down i'm going to go ahead make it fancy Love my render distance a little bit. It looks like it's kind of intense. Oh wow. So I think once we start moving a bit, the lag, the like the kind of uh, in-game lag, I can kind of feel it kind of going away. But we'll we'll see how this goes, guys. Because it is a crazy blizzard out right now. Oh, it has a little mini map. I wonder what the red things are. See these red things? Can I hover my mouse over it? No, it doesn't show me what it is. That one's moving really fast. Um, but it's a snowy biome. Like there's nothing I can do to prevent getting away from the snow. Hey, what is up, Top Star? Welcome into the stream. Hi, hi, hi. And Muki says, "That's a cool wood. What kind of wood is this?" Um. Harvest, where is it? Da, 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 da. I don't know. Oak logs. Okay, oak log. It just kind of shaded for it. Um, Yuki says, also, I've been getting to this game Mobile Legends again. It used to be so low graphics, like there was barely any maps in there to survival, but now it has better graphics and maps. Yeah, it reminds me a lot of like League of Legends on the desktop. I used to play a ton of League of Legends in the past, like maybe five or plus years ago. Back when League of Legends came out, season one, 
I started playing it with my friends, and it was a really, really fun game, but I haven't played it in such a long time now. Did the whole tree just fall down? But right now, we're going to try and survive as long as we can here. It's a pretty crazy blizzard now, so I got some books here. Uh, I'm not so much worried about the books as I am with getting a crafting table down getting a couple sticks and I want to make sure I have an axe and I want to have a pickaxe and we're going to go towards I think the lake is going to be a good idea to go towards the lake it's this way oh boy this is going to be I should have made a shovel I should have made a shovel as well because uh, without um if I hold shift through snow, will I still sink through it? I don't know. Oh. Okay. Yeah, that's pretty good, Miyuki. I, I have heard of it. I've watched a couple other streamers um, play mobile on the phone. The Mobile Legends. But uh, I, I'd rather play just PC games. I don't like being on my phone as... as, uh, as I don't want to be on my phone as um, as I don't have to, right? That's kind of the word. So I see something on my mini map and it looks like it's over here, but I don't know what it is. Like, is that frozen armor in the water? Like, what is that? Whoop. Oh, weird. I got a pair of golden pants. So there's like stuff frozen in the water right here. I just got a pair of golden pants. I don't see what's on my mini map though. Huh. Yeah, I don't. Okay, so let's go. Um... Yeah, back then I didn't have the hero that I wanted in Mobile Legends. It was a girl with white hair and an umbrella wearing a Kimino. I always wanted her back and now I have her now. Oh, nice. Oh, whoa, whoa. Dang it. This is going. Okay, so that's weird that I don't freeze in like sub freezing temperature water, but I will freeze. There we go. In snow. I will freeze in the snow block, but I won't freeze in like this freezing water. Okay, so essentially in this mod pack, it's always snowing, every biome is snowing. Um, so regardless of where I go right now, so I can just run around forever and forever and forever. And I'm pretty sure regardless of where I go, I will always run into snow. There's not a biome anywhere. Um, but there won't be snow, but there may be a village. So, uh, the best thing I can kind of hope for here whoop, is to avoid falling into pits like this. I think my thing just crashed. Nope. Okay, good. Please make a hundred days on hardcore. I don't like the hundred days hardcore. It feels like a lot of the guys that do make a hundred days hardcore really just fake their progression because they don't stream their hundred days. And I I have done a hundred days on hardcore. Um, I've made a couple hundred days on hardcore. Like last December when I was streaming last year, and a hundred days on normal hardcore. We managed to take out the Ender Dragon. We made a gigantic snowman. Um, we did a few things. Let me go ahead and make an axe real quick, or a shovel. I can get up this mountain here. Uh, but a hundred days on on hardcore. I've done it before, and I beat the Ender Dragon and all that. I thought the blocks like fell down. Okay, yeah, they do some in some cases. Yes, yeah, some of the YouTubers do, do actually like put 100 days and they stream it. There's a couple of them out there that I, I have watched, but it's not like everyone does it, right? But 100 days on Hardcore. I, I was kind of like thinking about should I make this world a Hardcore world, but I, I just don't know enough about this pack. And I think I would die in an endless snow 
Oh, I hear something. I heard something. So let's go to my chat. And I want to see the... What's it called? Not the narrating, but I want... Um... Subtitles. I heard something. I thought I heard, like, growl. Whoop, whoop, whoop. I just want to find some cows or a village of sorts. And I'm trying to main her. I've been watching a lot of videos on how to use her, and she's pretty a powerful mage. Yeah, I don't know if, the, if they have the same classes as I played with when I played League of Legends. Uh, but my favorite character on League of Legends was called Lux. And she basically have like a snare attack. They could snare people in place. They could throw in an orb. And anybody caught within her orb after she explodes it would do like, ma like an AoE damage. And then she shot like a huge beam of light in a specific direction that just did a massive amount of damage. So it was always one of my favorite characters. Um, so, and I think the map, nope, that's not it. Like there's, oh, here it is. What did I hit for that, Jay? Okay, so. This is kind of the map. I don't see a... Oh, there's a village. Looks like maybe something right here. You see that... That sort of thing right here. I don't see anything over this way. Ooh, what happened? Did it crash? It crashed, huh? My game crashed. They do stream their Minecraft, man. I got disconnected. How did I get disconnected? What? Oh, that's weird. That I got disconnected from my single player world. Lux, the girl with the wings in yellow and black. If that's the case in mobile, she has there too. It was, uh, Not sure if it's the same. Lux, uh, League of Legends. I think my, my game crashed or something. That was weird. Yeah, this one right here. My game crashed out of nowhere. Uh, so I don't know if it was like because I was using Did I roll back at all? No, I didn't roll back. Okay, but there is a village, right? Whoop, 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 whoop. Okay I just need to get somewhere safe before it's nighttime and There was something down this way So I don't want to take too long. Okay, I'm basically going on a straight shot down this way. So right now what we're doing is we're playing a Christmas mod pack and it's 100% snowing. It's 100% snowing 100% of the time. Whoop. So uh, the chance of finding sheep and other animals is very unlikely, but the mod pack does have a, a, a hundred additional things that were added into this mod pack. So we're going to be trying to locate those animals over time. Ooh, water balance. I will take that with me. Where'd it go? I got six pieces of water on. Uh, so we're gonna make our way down. Ah, oh, I hate snow. Okay. It was this one. Yeah, basically straight down ahead. We should be hitting a village or something. Just straight through, we should be hitting something. And yeah, that was the character that I normally played as on League of Legends. I don't know what the red dots are yet on the, on the, on the screen. Like, I've walked towards the red dots. I've, oh, no. I've walked towards the, um, the red dots. Like, there's a red dot right on top of me. I don't know what it means. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. I heard a skeleton there. 
Okay. You see this? This is weird. I hear a skeleton, so I wonder if this is like a skeleton city. I just made the achievement Guns and Roses. Okay, I hear zombies. So I just heard zombies, so I wonder if I maybe entered like a zombie city? Uh, I see a spawner in there. Okay, so this may not be, this might not be a good idea. I think I just kind of went into like some sort of a dungeon or something. And now it's nighttime. So I, I really don't know here. Okay, we're just gonna go ahead and plug this up right here. And we'll make our way down and see where this takes us here. Oh, that's not like, uh, that's not them then. I thought it was her. It sounded like a Lonix game play mechanics in Mobile Legends. The classes of Mobile Legends are Mage, Assassin, Junglers, Fighters, Marksman, and Tanks. Okay. Yeah, see, now I'm inside of, um, I think I'm inside of some of, like, a dungeon style thing. And I, I see stuff kind of creeping up there. I hear skeletons like all around me. You can see like the uh, the animations there, like the skeleton blocks. I got some coal. We can make a couple torches now. Torches, torches. Okay. And I think that's a wood block. We're going slowly through here. Oh. Whoa. Okay. I think something spawned down there. Okay, let's not go that way. <laughs> let's not go that way. Whoa. -oh. Okay, I thought I got smashed by something. I mean, I could go that. I could go that way. Uh, I still don't have any stone bricks, some cobblestone stuff. So at the most, I couldn't do a whole lot, guys. I don't have a shield. I don't have um, any stone items. So my, my stone stuff, my wood stuff is actually going to be breaking here shortly. But it does look like I have, I can get down somewhere here. And there's a little uh, trap door here. Okay, kind of checking my surroundings down there. It looks kind of safe. There's a door right here. Let's block the door. Okay. Okay. Okay, so there is a little bit of wood here. I can make more wood tools out of this. So wait. Um, is that Acadia wood, right? I can still make, yeah, normal wood. Okay, cool. Uh, let's see, take a look. I think they announced on the Play Store, I that you can download it on your PC. Oh, mobile? Yeah, I think they went to PC as well. It, it's just kind of like a copy of uh, League of Legends. I don't think it's by the same owner. I think all they did was take Mobile Legends. Uh, all they all they really did was take League of Legends. Oh, there's Cobblestone. All they really did was take League of Legends, uh, port it to the mobile, reskin it, and they renamed the characters. Some, Cause a lot of the characters, they do exactly the same thing. I was watching videos on it. Cause um, one of my buddies is like, look at this. They, they took this game and they basically took the idea. Cause you can copy an idea. You can't copyright an idea. So they took an idea such as mobile legends, like a Dota 
and they reskinned the characters, gave them different names, gave them different characters, changed their effects slightly, and it's a completely different, you know, it's, it's still the same style of game based off the same idea, but they threw their own flair onto it. So it's not like a, you can't copyright the idea of it, but it's still pretty cool. Okay, we got some coal here, which means we have some torches. We have stone, which means we got some stone tools now. And oh my goodness, the house, the same house on the Halloween, wait, oh my god, this is the same house on that one Halloween mod pack. Oh, okay. Yeah, I think it's kind of a weird design. I'm gonna, I'm gonna bust through here like the Kool-Aid man, and see if I can, um, if I can get to the spawner bats over there. See that spawner right there? I can get to it. I just have to go down a little bit lower. I'll just destroy it from below. Like a true ninja. Destroy it from below. Boom. And there might be bad guys in here. I don't see any. Oh, they're probably upstairs. I can't see that way. I just hear them rattling everywhere. Okay, I'm just gonna make my own way. The safest thing you can do in Minecraft when exploring is make your own paths. Because then, oh, I can't block anything yet. Oh. How, how did you shoot me through the, oh. I don't know how that guy shot me through the wall. I still don't know how that guy managed to shoot me through a dirt block. Because I know he can't shoot my feet. They're not that smart. Do I want to go that way? Not really. Look at this. They have diamond nuggets. What? Diamond nuggets? Like chicken nuggets, but made out of diamonds. Uh, it's the same one where, like, this player enters the house and mobs place TNT all around the house and the player dug down. What? That sounds horrible. Okay, hold on. Is there stuff up? Oh my goodness. Yeah, it's all... Oh my goodness. Yeah, it's a dungeon up there. Whoop, 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 whoop. No, 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 no. One, one death so far. Oh my goodness, and it's nighttime. I'm not think I'm gonna live very long here in the middle of the night. Oh, it's my death, okay. Redeem Brib. Yep, that happened. That's number one. Oh my goodness. I, I don't know if I should even go back. I guess I should go. Whoa, no. Oh, no. No. What is that? No. I don't want to die. What is that? What is that? What is this? That was not a zombie. Whatever the other thing was, I don't know what it was. Like a Wendigo. I don't, I don't want to go down below. I don't know if I'm going to be able to skip nights. Um... I don't think sheeps grow up in the in the cold. So I don't know what I'm gonna do for sheep. I don't know what I'm gonna do for um for wool to skip these nights. Uh oh. I just broke all my cover. I'm kinda scared here. Whatever that was that attacked me, it was vicious. It was vicious. I'm gonna go underground, I think, for a bit. We'll get underground here. Okay. Okay, now we're here. We're safe. I, I, I really don't have any better option than to kind of go underground until uh, I died again, guys. Dude, that's two. Two times I've died. All within a few seconds. So, let's go ahead and bust out. The leaves went non-existent and died. Yeah, goodbye. <laughs> goodbye to my life right there. 
Okay, so let's go ahead and bring out the wooden tool and a shovel. We're basically gonna have to go old school here. It just go down below in the middle of the night. And of course I find gravel instead of stone. I need to get some, um, I need to find coal so I can get sticks. And I'm gonna make some stone tools here. I'm sorry for the lighting guys. I don't have any option here to increase my lighting. Wait, I do have this. That doesn't help a whole lot, but hopefully I'm sorry about the uh, darkness of this. Until I can get some torches, it's gonna be kind of a uh, dark here. But I'm hoping I can find some torches. When it's daytime, I'll try and go back and get my, my body. If we can find some iron, that would be awesome so I can get a shield. Message retracted. What did you say? Oh, the, the leaves. Okay, yeah, that was the leaves comment. Okay, so we need to find some, uh, some, some coal. Darkness, my old friend, I come talk to you again. Darkness, hello, darkness, my old friend. Come to talk to you once again. Da -da 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 -da. Yeah, I don't like the darkness. Because I know that I can't see anything myself, which means like if you guys are watching this on your mobile phones. Um Wait, I can make um I would need logs for it. I can make charcoal, but I would need logs. Looks like it's daytime. It looks like it's daytime. Let's go ahead and go out. Oh no. He doesn't attack me. Okay, you're not gonna attack me, right? Okay, good, good spider. Yeah, let's go this way. Hopefully everything that attacked me during the day. The zombie. Oh, I'm dying here. The Wendigo thing is gone. Let's go ahead and crit this guy. Oh, I'm dying again. Here we go. Come on. Oh, he dropped me a chest, though. Nice. And where's my grave? I must have already picked up my stuff that I didn't have. No, yeah, it looks like right there. I died. Somebody had mentioned how to do this last time. I think it was like, and, oh, here it is. Uh, remove. Okay. See, I remember. I think that was Stormy that helped me out last time. Okay, so we're going to head back towards this last one. And I know on this body, I do have some, some coal. I got some coal over here. I don't know what that was. I thought I heard something. Oh, what is that? Is that hostile? Is that a cow? Look at that. Oh, I hear something. It's a little cow. Whoa. Oh, no, 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 no. No way. Go away, bad, bad, bad. Ha ha ha. Okay, good. Where's my axe? Did my axe break? Yes, it did break. Uh, let's go ahead and get this. And get this. And get this. Yeah, I don't want to take out the cow, right? Because the cow is going to give me my stuff. It's burning while it's snowing. Hey, Minecraft physics. But that's a cow. I kind of want to take him out. I'm sorry. What did he drop me? Snow blocks? 
He didn't give me no leather. I was hoping he would give me some beef and some leather. That guy didn't drop me anything. Well, at least now I know there are cows here in the biomes. Um, how am I going to get seeds? I have no idea. I think my primary source of food is going to be watermelons in this world. Because it does look there's a lot of watermelons. And watermelon's not like the best food source, but hey, it's a food source. You should never talk down to any food source, especially when you're broke. And I am super broke when it comes to food sources, right? Or anything. I have nothing in this Minecraft world. We're going to keep making our way towards... That's um, 110 meters away. Whoa, whoa, whoa. whoa. See that guy right there? I like this one. That's a long ways away. I'm like way outside the map here. Who is that? Hey, what is up, Chris? Welcome into the stream. Hi, fellow snowy watermelons. What is up, creep, Chris? Welcome into the stream. Big shout out to Chris on the YouTube side with the redeem like. I do appreciate that. I'm not a watermelon. I'm a piece of garbage, like a garbage can. A watermelon. Oh, iron. There's a shield right there. I see. Oh, man. I lost a piece of iron. I hear a lot of zombies. I hear like a lot of zombies this way. So I don't know if I should mine towards zombies or just kind of ignore all the sounds. Okay, yeah, I don't see anything that way. I thought maybe, hey, we could find something cool. Okay. But I lost a piece of iron that way. Okay, so... I don't have a water bucket. I have only three pieces of iron. Okay, so we have three pieces of iron. Uh, let's go ahead and drop this. Let's go ahead and make a furnace. Place that in the furnace. Let's go ahead and put that. And we're going to burn up our... Um, we're going to make a shield. I think, I think I need another piece of wood. Maybe? I don't remember. Uh, now, Miyuki, you are sweet. Just a horrible gambler. No, you know what? I'm a bush now. Goodbye. Oh, no, a bush. A berry bush. A berry, berry bush. Hey, we got two pieces of iron. And now we can make a shield. That's going to increase our survivals a bit there. And what should we do with the other piece of iron? Is that something we have there? No. Okay, good. I really need to find like a place to stay. It seems like there's a lot of zombies near me. And I don't really have like an easy way to get down. Oh wait. There's lava down there. See that? You guys can hear the zombies, right? It just seems like there's a lot. Oh. I think we found the zombies. I think this is like a little... Um... Yeah, see there's quite a few zombies in there. Plug this up. I'm down here. As long as there's no baby zombies. Oh my goodness. Baby zombie, baby zombie, baby zombie, baby zombie. Baby zombie. Can baby zombies jump? Yeah, they can jump, right? Yeah, baby zombies can jump. So I don't want to go head on. Okay, there's a spawner right there. There's a spawn right there with a the zombie spawner. So it's not like a horrible thing. Okay. I mean, this could be actually like a little EXP farm, like an experience farm right here. We have a spawner right there. So this could actually be a really good Dude, who did that? <laughs> that scared me. Maybe jump. Uh, this share you up? Redeem UFO. Redeem alien. Yes, the alien is one of the coolest ones out there. 
the alien is probably one of the cooler an animations there. How are you doing, by the way, Chris? Do you have any plans for the holidays? Are you traveling, going anywhere fun? I thought that was gonna be like a chest in here. But there is, oh, there's a chest right there. I see the chest right there on the left. Doing good, not going anywhere, just relaxing. That's a good Christmas time. Just relaxing. You don't have to go anywhere and travel, right? Okay. I want to get that. I want to get that uh, chest right there. So let's go to the left here. And I'm just gonna dig through here. And I think it's that one. Yep. Ooh. There's quite a bit here. Tomato seeds. Uh, torch. I'll take a torch. I got some flax seeds. You know, everybody likes flax seeds. I got a fishing rod, tomato seeds, more flax seeds, a wild horn. Wild and horn. Shots from the wild and pack of hunters. I got a rope. Some more wheat. I got a name tag. Wheat. Some more rope. Some tomato seeds. A music disc of jingle bells. Jingle bells, jingle bells, and a saddle, redstone, rotten flesh, more rotten flesh. We got quite a bit of items. I want to see what this does. Nope, doesn't do anything. But I did get a lot of items. I got a saddle, so if I can find like a horse or a donkey, I can basically travel really nice and easy prior to getting my elytra. I have a music disc with jingle bells, so once I get a uh, music disc, uh, what's it called, jukebox, I can play the jingle bell songs. Uh, so I have a couple things. I really don't want to lose what I have got here. So I'm going to go ahead and finish eating here. Get myself back up to full life. And then I'm going to go ahead and place a torch in here. So I don't want anything spawn. So my goodness. You see that? You see that? That baby zombie right there? He was just waiting. Holy cow, that could have been, that could have been my life right there. That was close, light the bush on fire. Whoops, there goes my stuff. There goes my stuff. I'm just gonna put that there. I'm, it's nighttime outside, so I can't do a whole lot. Um, going to try and explore out a little bit here. I don't I don't know where to actually build my house yet. I don't have a good spot to build my house. I obviously need to build my house underground. Um because it, it's snowy everywhere, right? So because of the snow on this pack, it makes it really hard to grow anything anywhere else and on top. Light the bush on fire, then throw some kidling down there, right? Just light it on fire and walk away. <laughs> Add a little bit of fuel, light it on fire. I, I want to keep the zombies around for, um, or get an experience in the future. Uh, how far away is that? 102 meters away? I need, I need some coal. Yeah, I'm out of torches right now. So I really don't have any any cool option here. Ah, uh, okay. Go ahead and make a couple. Ooh, what can I make? A snow-covered rock, a rope and nail. I can make a lead with the ropes. I don't know what else the ropes would be good for. I think I could type it in here, like a rope. I think that's what this is for. Um, Oh, I thought I could do something. I forgot how this stuff works. I thought I could type in down here, like, um, rope. A rope and nail. I don't, I, yeah. I thought I could go through here and, like, type in the specific stuff but it has been such a long time since I've used my packs. 
Uh, Yuki says, which means dancing and me, myself, and I was a dancer. I did ballet when I was younger and I dance hip hop now and K pop and me. Being have a weak immune system, I got sick and didn't get to choose what dance to do. Guess what? They chose the stupid girl in the mirror, which is embarrassing. This was a competition to uh, to go on which dance the best, and we were going to dance a little kid's dance. Ah, see, so oh, is that your exam that's coming up? Let me go ahead and make a. What is that? Chainmail winter armor. That is cool. It's a winter coat. I have to get a chain mail. Chain. Chain mail. See this right here? I guess I have to find it because I don't think I can craft it. Uh, chain mail leggings. So maybe I just don't have the option to make it because I haven't um, crafted it before. I need wood. Huh, okay. So I can't make myself... Oh, I have a wood block right there. And now I need sticks. And now I can make a fillet knife if I really want to make a knife. But I really want to make a pickaxe. Two pickaxes. And an axe. There we go. Okay, we're back. Chris said, logs burn into charcoal for torches, but that's expensive and you only have two. Yeah, I just used the two logs to make my pickaxes, so I can't do that. Maybe you can trade the zombies for some torches. They like gummy worms, yes. Maybe I could trade them some gummy worms if I had some gummy worms. Hoping to find some, uh, I do need to, I, I want to get some charcoal uh, because trying to find coal is gonna be very difficult, it seems like. And I'm having a tough time even navigating back to the surface here. Let's just go back. It might be daytime now. I don't want to travel at night. Were you around when the Yeti killed me? It was like a Yeti that killed me. It'd be nice if these guys dropped the leather boots. I need leather boots. Oh, I see you dropped something, something down there. Uh, I don't know what that is, though. There, pick it up. What is it? Helmet? Okay. Not the best, not the worst. Yeah, I don't know what's wrong with this guy. He's like trapped in limbo. I want to take this guy out right here, but I feel that if I break this block, he'll jump up here. Huh. Got him down. Okay. And now, he can't get up here, right? Okay. Yeah, we're good. Bad zombie. Can't. There we go. See, I have a pretty decent spot. It's a pretty decent spot. And I could just kind of collect some. Whoop, whoop, almost fell down there. There we go. And, oh, there's, there's, um, I see some, uh, coal right there. Oh, there is some coal. Down that way. Okay, so I just need to go down this way. And... Okay, we're just gonna work our way down here. There's an Enderman. I almost stared at him. There's some iron. Very nice. There's a long, nice, warm cave right here. And lots of charcoal. So, I mean, this isn't a bad area. <clears throat> gonna go this way here. And there's some charcoal here. I don't know if this is my wood. You see this? This is... Oh, I see. Oh, wait! Oh, it's okay. Okay. Never mind. I thought it was a separate one. 
Whoops. I thought this was a separate zombie spawner, so I destroyed it thinking, you know, huh, I'm dumb. I'm dumb, it's okay. I don't know where my brain's at, but it was not thinking. Okay, so I did see some charcoal over here, or some coal. Man, I cannot believe I just did that. Here I was telling myself, hey, I'm gonna have a farm of zombies to get experience. And I just destroyed my uh, my my thing there. Oh, there it is. Okay, I was wondering where it went. I know I saw it earlier. My brain. Uh, what is wrong with my brain? I saw a spawner. I was like, oh, it's another spawner. I can destroy this one. I already have another one. Not like, hey, this is the spawner. It's the same spawner that's back there. Nope. Didn't even cross my mind. Okay, so let's go ahead. Now we got a lot of uh, <laughs> derp. Yeah, derp. Let me get my uh, derp hat on real quick, guys. Derp. Man, that was dumb. Yeah, I just basically threw away the reason for staying here. Uh, maybe it was a good idea. Maybe it's nice to travel. Whoa, whoa, whoa. You're not hostile. Okay. Okay. I'm gonna make a little safe area. My dog took my sandwich. Hey, it's better than other things. That dog could have gone crazy. Let's go ahead. And place a torch shot here. Just kind of look around our surroundings here. Okay. My cat ate my mushroom off my omelet this morning. Cats, they like mushrooms. I, I've never had my cat eat my mushroom. I've had cat eat my chicken off my, my plate. I have two cats now. My wife just adopted another cat like uh, about less than a month ago. So we have an orange cat named Simba. And we have like another like cream orange cat named Nala. And she is probably about two years old in Simba. We've had him since 2013. So he's been with us almost 10 years now. Uh, he doesn't look old though, he looks pretty young. Yeah, your cat is definitely unique for liking mushrooms. I have never seen a cat like mushrooms. Okay, we got all that. And we have, um, let's get rid of this. Get rid of this, and this, and this. Let's get this iron here. Kind of thinking I need to control this lava flow though. Yes, yeah, control the lava flow. See, perfect. We control the lava. This should all start to dissipate. And now we can kind of see what's underneath here. Now, there's a lot of it here. I'm not gonna run out of coal for a while. So far, this cat has eaten mushrooms, squash, green beans, and grief, refi beans, sunflower seeds, and a few other weird things I can't remember. Holy cow. Yeah, my cat is, yeah, your cat is very unique in the sense that it just eats a whole bunch of veggies. It may have grew up on a farm. Have you had it since it was a brand like a kitten? Or did it grow up like, you know, maybe it was like raised on a farm and it ate a lot of like, uh, like vegetables or something. That's unusual for a cat to do that. I'm gonna go explore down here a little bit. Oh, okay, it's just a little cave. I don't even have to dig the cave out. It's already kind of dug out for me. I mean, this could be a pretty good, pretty good spot to kind of call my home.
Yeah, I could, I could make this my house, essentially. It would just be a bit of a pain to get in and out and all that. So I'm going to go ahead and... There we go. That. Potato. Name it potato now. Name what potato? Oh, your cat. <laughs> what is your cat's name, Chris? Mine are Nala and Simba. What are your cat's names? What's your dog's name, Yuki? Does he have a cool name? Does he have a first name? I just use all my... Pi Pi? Oh, Pi Pi? Like Pi Pi or Pee Pee? Like Pi Pi? I would assume like Pi Pi. Pi Pi! I'm gonna take some of my torches and we're gonna leave here before it gets dark again. I'm gonna... We're gonna head out to another place. Because I basically destroyed my only reasoning for staying here. Oh man. This looks horrible out here. Yeah, my map's not... Okay, this is my... My global map's working. My global map works. Where's my watermelon? I have bread. wood here along the way. I would love to find a village, but unfortunately I didn't find a village. I found a death camp and I got slaughtered by skeletons. There's more more coal right there, but I have a uh, stacking stacking full of coal. We're gonna make our way towards the waterway where I can make a boat. And travel along the water, the snow water, and maybe come across something different. That's what we're gonna do. We're gonna head towards the water, and then once we're at the water, I'm gonna go ahead and make a boat. And boats can travel very, very quickly on on water like that, right? On ice. And oh no, we're gonna look for some animals. Oh. Before it turns nighttime. I'm gonna go like this, just kind of run this way. And we hit the water now. Okay, so here's the water. Let's go ahead and drop some stuff that we don't need. Such as that. And we're gonna place down our bracket table. What? Oh, that is weird. Look at the ice. That's so weird. I have to hold like shift. If I hold shift, then I can place it on top. If I don't hold shift, it places the block inside of the ice. So that's unique. Uh, where's the boat? Boat. Why can't I make a boat? Oh, I don't have a lot of wood. Okay, but I can make more wood. And now I can make a boat. Okay. Uh, let's see here. Uh, like pi Pippi. Oh, like Pippi. Like Pippi, but only one P. Oh, okay, Pippi. Gotcha. Like Pippi Longstocking. Right. I have four dogs. This is the ranging from oldest to youngest. Katie. Barbie, Bruno, and Xander. Oh, okay, nice. You should be able to make Slurpees with slow balls. Prickle berries and snow. That would be delicious. Oh, man, I love snow cones. What in the world? Okay, there you go. I have to hold shift. Yeah, we're going to travel a little bit. Let's see if we can find something out here in the blizzard. Something. <laughs> oh, my goodness. It makes it really hard to kind of travel when you don't know where you're going. You can't see more than just a few feet ahead of you. So I'm kind of using my, uh... I'm kind of using my map on the top to kind of point myself, but you can kind of see, regardless of where I'm pointing here... Oh, it's this way. I'm not really, uh... I'm not really going in a great direction here. 
Okay, it looks like I need to go this way. I heard crow. Whoa. I heard crows. That, that's a wall. See, if it wasn't for the map up top, I would be totally lost. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. What happened to me here? There we go. Oh boy. Maybe it's uh, better on foot. It's almost nighttime. How to ice skate in Minecraft. Grab a boat, put it on top of ice, get inside the boat. Congratulations, you are now ice skating at the speed of light. Yeah, you can travel so fast on a boat, but it's too fast and I don't know, the, I can't, I don't have any control. It's nighttime right now. I still don't know what the things are on the map, on the marker, on the map. All the green things that are moving, the gray things. I don't know what that is. Oh wait, put in the, put in the water back in there. Okay, I'm just gonna travel this way. I'm just gonna travel north and see where it takes me. Whoops. Travel north. See where it takes me. But this whole world is just ice. It's an ice world. So I will never see anything outside of ice. Unless I um I make like a whole underground base or something. Then I might find something. Like I can have like my own little underground area. I'd like to find some land, like some solid land. And not like a glacier. Okay, I see. I don't know what the red stuff is either. Okay, now it's nighttime 100% in my map too. Uh, let's take a look. Should use rockets with the boat. That would be so cool. Yeah, that would be actually really cool. I think this is a land block right here. Uh oh. Just flew in the sand. Okay. Oh, what happened? It's a little bit laggy here. Okay, my music stopped. My game's kind of frozen. I'm gonna let it sit. Got the little uh, icon of death. Let's see if the game crashes or if it just de if it unlags here. Oh no. Okay. Oh boy. It was too much for the game to handle. My thing's frozen. Anji teleported to Atlantis and then back on a boat within seconds, right? I just teleported in the water and then came back out of water. Oh wait, it's coming back. It's coming back maybe. Man, it was working so smooth there for a minute. Now it's frozen. Now it's frozen. I can't do anything. I mean, it's not crashing yet. It's just super, super laggy. It's probably because it has to load. I was traveling super fast in the boat, right? And now because I was traveling so fast on the boat, it has to basically probably generate all of this new land that I flew into. And maybe there's something in the game files that it's trying to load that is very intensive to load. My computer's my computer trying to run. Wow. This is my computer in a nutshell. My computer generally doesn't do this. My computer is fairly new. As a 1070 card, I'm not running graphics on really high performance, so I really shouldn't have this issue. Yeah, but, um, I don't know what to do, guys. I don't know what to do. Hmm. 
I'm gonna give it a second here. But uh, what else should I do here? And I could try and close it and reopen it, but then I might lose the progress that I've made. Because when you close out of a single player game by hitting like Alt F4 and like closing your game, I don't believe that actually saves your game. And I would lose, now it's back. Like it's not frozen. I turn away like is it something here that's making me lag I don't know what to do here you do is you grab eggs make your PC upside down and cook your eggs on your PC let me touch my graphics card my graphics card is not hot like I can touch it and it's not like it's warm but it's not like blazing hot where I can crack an egg on it and cook it um Let's see, what should I do? I'm trying to hit like escape here and see if I can just kind of turn my mouse. Maybe it's my the boat that I'm on. Try and jump out. Like everything's frozen, it's frozen. I'm gonna hit Alt F4. What happens here? Alt F4? Eh, it worked. Alt F4 crashed my game. Let's go ahead and load this back up again. So close and play. Wonderful. Wondershin. And let's bring this back. So I did crash out my game. Oops, clicks multiple times. Oops, oh well. No, I wasn't clicking a whole lot. I was just clicking to see if I could change the directions of what I was facing that would potentially make it work better. Um, but it did not work. So, um, well, dang it. Maybe that's a little bit too intensive then. Maybe that is too intensive. It's loading again, I think. I think it's loading. I hit play. Ah, uh, yeah, it's loading up again. Boom, okay. We're gonna see if I lost any progress. Your PC background is the color of nothingness. Hey, it's black. It's the perfect background. You can stare at your background and get lost in it, right? If you have ideas, if you have any thoughts, if you're wondering what to do, stare at the background of emptiness and ideas will flow to you like people will stare you know you could have anything as your background but then you get distracted by what's on your background and maybe you'll like wander off topic i don't know oh my goodness come on chop 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 My background is nothingness. Um, let's see here. Do, do, do. Let's go ahead and grab that. There we go. There we go. Or people will say, why are you staring at a black background for one hour now? <laughs> right? Why am I staring at a black background? Usually, like, it's a good idea, like, if you have, if you can't come up with a plan, or you can't come up with an idea, you know, stare at something blank, and then whatever pops into your head, write it down, that way your brain doesn't have to focus on that idea, right? It doesn't matter what it is, if it pops into your head, write it down, because then you put it on paper, and you get it out of your head, you don't have to focus on it, because now it's on paper, right? So anytime you're like trying to come up with ideas of whatever it is that you're trying to do or get a plan together, whatever pops into your head, just write it down. That way, when you're trying to focus on what you're mainly trying to focus on, those ideas that are flowing to you that are trying to distract you, you can just write them down and kind of like let them be like, I'll come back to these later. You ever have that really, really good idea in the middle of another idea 
and you're like, man, if I stop doing my main idea and I turn my attention to this other cool idea, I will probably forget all about my main idea. That's the idea behind the idea. <laughs> what popped out in my head when I saw your background? Aren't you sure is camouflaging in the darkness? Hey, yes, okay, so. Okay, I didn't lose a whole lot of progress, right? I, I, uh, I did get back. I did get backlogged a little bit. I'm not gonna travel on my boat because what happened was, oh, I crashed my game. So I'm gonna go ahead and we'll run over to this mountain this area over here. And I'm gonna look for some animals. Go ahead and chop down that coal. I'd like to make a house, but um, we have to make a house underground eventually. Because there's no way I can have a house up top. I don't like the idea of having like a snowy house. You got into a boat and crashed your game, right? Not only did I crash my boat, I crashed my game. I crashed so hard in my boat that I crashed my Minecraft game. That, that's what happened. I crashed so hard into that piece of sand and went into Atlantis and came back out that Minecraft's like, whoa, what happened here? We gotta shut this thing down. We gotta shut it down. What the heck? What? I just go backwards in time. Now I'm time traveling. Now I'm going backwards in time and reliving moments in history. You guys have never seen a real life time traveler? I am it. 2023, watch out. You've never seen the world like it's gonna be in 2023. Yeah, I'm just gonna get this charcoal and then we're gonna be on our way. It looks like it's gonna be nighttime anyway, so let's keep moving. I don't want to be stuck anywhere weird at night. Um, I'm really looking for more cows. Really any signs of animals. Uh, Non-hostiles, obviously. Hey, cold. Dirt. The wind blows, okay. We gotta shut it down, teleports. What? What? Hey, cave. Water. Which iron do we have? Da 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 da, two pieces. Plus we have one iron somewhere, right? So we have three pieces of iron. I think we can make a bucket with that. Torches. Yes, I got five torches. Go ahead and explore a bit. Oh, I thought I saw movement down there. Oh, not that one. Okay. Oh, that shows me my inventory, see? Shows me my inventory. I was trying to zoom in there to see if I could kind of zoom down. I can make more torches, right? I can make more torches. Before stuff spawns, I want to make sure I kind of torch it out. Because um, because this is the new area that I'm exploring, stuff doesn't spawn within... What is that? What is that? What was that? A bat? What did it say? I didn't read... What was it? What was it? Hold on, let's get rid of this train. It was a wilden wing. There's a wild and stalker. Holy cow. That was crazy. 
It just flew out of nowhere. Batman, but worse. Um, yeah, there's lots of coal. Is that a deep, is that a deep thing down there? I think that's a deep, whatever it's called, deep, uh, deep thing. Okay. Lapis. It's a wild and stalker. Yeah, it looked cool. It looked cool. I mean, this is a really nice cave right here. Uh, that I'm gonna... Ah! Oh, no! <laughs> oh, that was totally mean. <laughs> that, I, didn't, I didn't get scared. That was not me getting scared right there. I did not freak out at all. I think I handled that pretty well. <laughs> I don't think I even shielded. I just braced for impact. Okay, I think we're good. I think this is going to be a nice cave for us, guys. We're going to go ahead and start collecting some iron. It auto hide those in the chat. It should auto hide them. I didn't read it before it happened. Sometimes I'm reading your guys' comments and I'll see people type it out and then I'll know it's gonna happen. That one I didn't see happening. That one did actually get me a bit there. I kind of ducked down in real life. <laughs> I ducked down in real life. Minecraft is so real. I ducked down in real life. Uh, da, da, da. Uh. There we go. Uh, let's take a look here. Same energy as the time where I scared you with the knock so much that you flinched to your window. Yeah, I, I got... I don't scare too easy, but some sounds, man. Unexpected sounds when you're focused on trying like not to fall or staying alive. It will get you. I actually have a lot of iron now. I have 22 pieces of iron. That's a good amount. That's a couple hoppers. That's a good amount of hoppers to kind of uh, get going. I think there's some lapis down there as well. I'm pretty sure I could probably find some diamond in the future. So, I'm just kind of torching this area out just to make sure that nothing's going to be spawning down here. But that's my entrance up there. And then I have a whole cave system below here. So what I think I'm going to do is um, make a house up here. I don't want to be too close to the um, to the exit. Because I don't want to hear the winds blowing. If I go over here... I really hear the winds from outside, but if I come back here, yeah, I still hear the winds. Not as much though. Okay. So maybe I'll, I'll make like a little tiny house inside here, and I'll have access to a cave, I'll have access to outside really quickly. So I think that's good. I think I'm going to be settling here, guys. I think that's the plan. So we're going to go ahead and just kind of dig out a small area. I'm not going to start with anything too fancy. I'm going to make a death wall. So every time that I die, I'm going to put a check mark on the wall. Let's go ahead and put a torch. We're going to make this three, three units high. I need to find a bed as well, because right now it's not going to make any sense. Like as soon as I die, I'm just going to lose all my progression. Eventually, I'm going to have to figure out how I can make beds. Um, ba -ba 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 -ba, ba -ba 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 -ba. What am I looking for here? Maybe a chest. With my other chest. Oh, there's different kinds of chests. Is that new in Minecraft 1.19 or is that just in this mod? Because these chests don't combine together because this is an oak chest. And this is a regular chest. Have you tried any of the Feed the Beast series of mods? No, I have not tried any of the Feed of the Beast mods. 
Uh, what is this name? Home. Home. Save. Yeah, I've never heard of Feed the Beast. I've heard of Mr. Beast, but never Feed the Beast. Uh, let's go ahead and make some sticks, and we're going to make some... Some pickaxe. And just finish this. It's like a hundred mods or so in one. Oh, okay. It's like the hundred mod. There's a hundred mod as well. It's kind of like that as well. Okay, let's throw all this stuff in here. And that's all in. Throw all that in there as well. Try to keep this and this and keep some food on us. Get that. Take out our furnace. Throw our furnace over there. Throw that like so. We're gonna use some coal to cook with some iron. What else? What else? What else? What else? So we're gonna go ahead and do this. And an oak support. I don't know what it's for. It's a decorative block, so it's not too important. I do need to start planting some food. Um, I don't know if melon will grow underground. But I also don't have any dirt. Oh no, wait, do I have dirt? I do have dirt. So I, I, I can have, I can have a little farm. Pretty sure. My nose hates me today. Or you haven't blow your nose often, Miki. But I think I've heard of the hundred mods, uh, Chris. I have heard of a hundred mods. Like it's called like the hundred mod data pack. It's like a RPG. It has like the fire and ice along with dragons and extra weapons and a whole bunch of RPG stuff. Oh, sorry. It's 200 mods, I guess. Yeah, pretty fun. Oh, okay. It's called... What was it called? Da, 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 da. Beast series of mods. Yeah, I've never tried the Beast series. That would be interesting, though. I'd like to do more playthroughs of mods. If I was better with mods, I think it'd be really fun to say, Hey, let's try and beat this you know this mod on hardcore or something like that i think that would be nice oh nice okay i found another cave entrance right here find another little cave entrance here I mean, the, the more cave entrances that I have, that's kind of cool because then I have more access to diamonds eventually. I'll go looking for diamonds. And, um... Yeah, not you. Here. Have a torch. Okay. And big mods like that are fun, but sometimes there are just too many and some buggy ones are part of it and are not needed for it. Oh, okay. Yeah, my son and I used to play like some really fun mods. Like I used to set up Forge uh, servers a long, long time ago. Like my son and I used to play a whole bunch of... Whoops. I mean, I do need... Whoa, my goodness. Where am I going? Don't push me that way. There. I'm trying to go that way. Okay. I'm just gonna go back over here. Back to my home. And I was gonna plant some dirt down here. That way I can start to get some watermelons. Yeah, big mods like that are fun, but sometimes there's too many mods, so you don't know what the heck you're supposed to do in the mods. Okay, so let's get some dirt. And drop some dirt in here. And I, I think we need dirt as well over there. I think it'll cause it to... If I put two rows of dirt blocks, I think I can put my plants on this side over here. And then... This. And then I just have to till one side. I'm pretty sure I could do this with some scenes. And if 
I do this. Yeah, I need three more. Three. There. Someone was saying, like, the pumpkins, the pumpkins didn't need water to grow. So I don't know if melons need water to grow either. But I can get some water, right? I have, I have, um, I have iron now. So obviously the first thing you want to make with iron is a shield. Second thing you want to make with iron is a pickaxe. That way you can mine diamonds. Uh, generally after I have a diamond, uh, iron pickaxe, um, I'll start to make my armor. So pants and boots. Pants and boots are the next thing that I need to kind of make myself a little bit higher survival. So pants and boots right there, put them on. And my helmet's gonna be breaking shortly. That will leave me with three pieces of iron. Okay, I'll put that. And I want to make a sign. Where's my sign? Sign. And we have deaths. We have two deaths so far. Death number two, we died twice so far. I'm gonna go ahead and keep track of how many times I die in my world. Let's actually replace that. Okay. Now, everything has stayed there as it should. Let's go ahead and see if I can plant something over here as well. Yeah, pumpkins and melons don't need water. Okay, nice. I kind of want to see what this flax seed is right here. Look at this. I have tomato seeds and I have flax seeds. So I wonder if maybe these, they probably, they, they obviously probably use like the seed. Um, so if I plant them, they probably will uproot. But that, I just want to try it. Just to see what they look like here. So this was the uh, flax seed, and this is the tomato vine. I think that'll be a little garden right there. And do I have any other seeds? Um, no, it doesn't look like I have any other seeds there. Okay. So I think we're good for now, guys. I think this is a good start. We have found a really nice cave. We did die twice. I think in the next episode, I'll probably fix up my entrance a bit to be a bit more safe. Um, and kind of figure out what's out here a bit more. You know, right now it's just crazy. Look at this. It's just, if it wasn't for my little hole marker right there, it would be insane to try and like navigate in the snow. Uh, but we also need to find some animals in the future. So I ha we have actually ran across what looked like a cow. It wasn't a cow, but it it could pass the cow. <laughs> Forgot what it was called. Why why can't I jump over there? Oh my hunger. That would be why I can't jump really well if I'm hungry. So let's go ahead and put a torch over here and a torch right there. And that's gonna be it, guys. That's going to be it. I think we've done really good progress outside of dying twice. There we go. Uh, we did manage to get our iron pickaxe. We got almost, well, we did get full iron gear. We found a nice little place to make our home. We started planting some crops. Uh, we found a gigantic cave. So in the next stream, next Monday, we're going to do Minecraft Monday once again. We're going to be continuing whoa, whoa. our adventure. See that guy right there? I like this one. Should get some leather boots so you don't sink into the snow drifts. That is a really good idea. So once I do get some cows, Chris, I'll probably uh, get some leather to make some some of that some leather boots to not sink into the snow. Uh, as you can kind of see, our world, I don't know what the red marks are yet. I don't know what they are, but... Uh, we can actually see the cave that we've slightly started to explore over here. Like this is our little path down this way. And then the cave that we started to explore looked like there's a lava pit. Uh, so the way that the map works, um, basically when you're above ground up here and you hit J, uh, J, 
it kind of shows the map that you've kind of explored. And then when you go below ground, below ground, it kind of shows you the cave system below ground. But uh, I'm hoping that we can find, I don't know what this is right here. Lukewarm ocean, like the stuff that's moving that's red and gray. I don't know what it is, so I'll have to find out what it is. Maybe we'll go explore in a bit. Yeah, we will have to go explore in a bit. But that is going to be it for me, you guys. So redeem from Miyuki. Redeem with a like. I do appreciate that, Miyuki. Big shout out to Miyuki with the redeem like. Make sure to go down below, you guys. And Tip Moon, what is up, Tip Moon, on the Twitch side? Welcome into the stream. Oh my god, I haven't played this in so long. I've been addicted to Ark. Oh yeah, you've been on Ark for about three weeks now, right, Tip Moon? I believe you've been on uh, Ark for about three to four weeks now. It's been quite a while since you probably played Minecraft. That's what you were saying last time. You can make rocky dirt. And Tip Moon says, yeah, yeah, about a month. Yeah, I haven't honestly played Minecraft in a while. And I, I, I often flip between games because, man, you get fixated on one game and you play it and you play it and you play it and you burn yourself out of it. But that's why I've started to implement mods, right? I started to get into mods a bit more now. And I'd like to do some sort of challenges. Like in my in this challenge of winter world, I want to get at least 25 different of the with the winter creatures. I don't know if they're hostile. Like it says that there's a hundred creatures that I'm able to capture or collect. A uh, hundred new creatures are added into the game. I don't know how many of them are non-hostile or hostile. So I think it just kind of adds a little bit of fun, uh, fun to the mix. So that is going to be it for me, you guys. I hope everyone has a great remainder of the week. It is now Happy Tuesday, so happy Tuesday to everyone out there. And I hope everyone has a great week. I will see everyone on Wednesday. We're going to be playing World of Warcraft Wednesday. Let's go ahead and exit the game there. And that is going to be it for me, guys. So I will see you guys in the next stream on Wednesday for World of Warcraft Wednesday. Have a great one, Miyuki, Stormy, Chris, Tip Moon. I hope you all have a great week, and I will see you guys Wednesday. Bye bye. Ba -ba 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 -ba.